This video is sponsored by PokeTownStore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. They have code cards from a huge variety of sets, so definitely check it out, PokeTownStore.com. Also, if you use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG, you get 5% of your next order. How cool is that? What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to another TCG battle video on my channel. Today we're going to be playing with a new archetype, it's going to be the Catterday stall or uh, you also may want to call this a uh, Greens Exploration stall deck with uh, resource management, whatever you want to call it, it's unique and that's why we wanted to showcase it on the channel. Sander Wojcik is uh, the well-known player that uh, likes to play stall archetypes uh, of the Netherlands. He's a very well-known player, very successful one indeed and that's why we're checking out this list. He actually took this to the Bachem Regionals and actually got a uh, top 64 which is actually not bad with a unique archetype. We have Meowth here of all things. Catterday will make sure we can draw two cards. Uh, we also fall asleep but that's no uh, issue here because we don't plan on attacking unless we just want to attack with this guy. Yeah, make him pay with Persian. You can evolve your little Meowth all the way into Persian and then use make him pay. This will make sure you can discard all cards uh, that the opponent has in the hand until they have four in the hand. That means we have full control. Let's say they are saving their welders or whatever they might save. They have a huge hand size. Well, bang out of nowhere, make him pay will actually save ourselves a lot of games. So what else do we have? Research management, four copies of that. Very easy to just go uh, re-get uh, your resources from the discard pile. Three cards put them on the bottom of the deck we already got used to this card thanks to Pidgeotto control we have uh, Lucario Mel Metal this time around we're gonna be using this for the full Metal Wall GX to be able to discard all cards attached actually all energies attached to the opponent's active Pokemon because this is an energy denial deck we have four crushing hammers which we can, can get back with research management we have one copy of the wait and see hammer and since this is a greens exploration list we can get this if we go second that means the first attachment is automatically uh, disappeared thanks to that uh, wait and see hammer we have counter gain that means if we can uh, get counter gain onto uh, Lucario and Mel Metal we can of course get Get one energy uh, attached to this to so that the full effect here to get discard all energies attached to the opponent's act. So that's going to be fantastic to try out. What else is in this list? Girafric to put some cards in the lost one because Mewtwo and Mew uh, tag team GX decks might have some archetypes. Like let's say they have Solgaleo in the discard pile, they have Venom Shot to the target our bench. Well, that's why we're gonna put those in the lost zone. And the good news is we are also running a Lily's Poke Doll, which we can also can get back with uh, the research management. So this is gonna be a very hard archetype to play around with, but uh, the main uh, red line is clear. Here, we have to discard all energies from the opponent. That's the only thing we're after. With Lu Lu Lieutenant Surge strategy, we can use uh, multiple supporters, and of course, with green. Using two copies of that, we can get whatever we want. Let's say you use Lieutenant Search Strategy. Well, you can uh, search, uh, of course, uh, with green your will. And the will will be very important because will, in combination with a flipping uh, item card, for instance, Crushing Hammer, will uh, let us decide what the outcome of that first flip is. For instance, we use will, we use Crushing Hammer, it's automatically hit. So that's going to be fantastic to try out. Any port is also a little bit disruptive, definitely against ADP. We can use it to uh, move a special energy attached to one of the opponent's Pokemon to another one. So that means, let's say they use Rainbow Energy, on an ADP, well, let's get that to a Jirachi so it's useless. So, and a Porter also very disruptive. What else? Balaban, Bryson, man, that's going to be the main way we can win. Uh, it's going to be uh, milling the opponent out of cards. So, if the opponent cannot draw a card at the beginning of their turn, they automatically lose. And with Steam's Resolve, we can get the ball rolling since we don't plan on attacking often on the early phase of the game. We can use Steam's Resolve to get our main setup up. Also, for Acrobikes, we'll make sure that we don't get donked often and uh, tackle. We'll get, of course, the supporters like uh, Cynthia and Catelyn from the deck as well as the one copy of Mallow and Lana to switch around because sometimes we just want to switch around, go to our Lucario Mel Metal, and then we can both search out with Tackle, and then we can get rid of all of the energies on the opponent's active Pokemon. So that is going to be the main play, main way we are going to play this. Draw energy is also something unique I want to showcase here, that, that if we attach it, we can draw a card, so that's going to be fantastic. Also, we're just going to check here, the full Metal Wall GX, it stays for the rest of the game, all Metal-type Pokemon take 30 less damage. Lucario Mel Metal can be a huge wall at the late game, but uh, if we have one extra energy attached in addition to the attack cost, we can get this off. So the main way, counter gain onto Lucario Mel Metal, one attachment of the turn, and then use full Metal Wall Jacks to get rid of all of the opponent's energies on the active. Okay, what else can we say? Power Plant Stamp is still part of the gang, uh, or actually part of the deck. Only one stamp though, and uh, this is also Metal Goggles, so we are uh, immune from like placing damage from abilities, so things like Weezing Shenanigans will not work if we get this equipped to Lucario and Metal. 
All right, let's get this ball rolling. Also, three custom catchers are in here. You might say, why only three? Well, we can get them back with resource management. So that was the full uh, showcasing of the deck. Canada stall, Sander Wojcik, a huge shout out to this guy because he always creates those unique archetypes and we definitely want to showcase them on the channel. As a little disclaimer, I also uh, mentioned here that I'm not the perfect stall player. If I make misplays, that's definitely gonna happen because I am the kind of guy that actually wants to counter the meta and play in a very aggressive one prize deck. That's the way I typically go to tournaments. So yeah, if you want to see how I did at the bottom regionals, definitely check the vlogs out. I, I did very well with Babe Lasafalon, my uh, kind of deck this season. So definitely check those videos out if you're interested. But now we are showcasing one of the weirdest decks ever with Meowth and Kerrday. So hopefully we'll be able to uh, showcase what it is capable of. We start with Meowth, the, this is not bad. We also have like Cynthia on the list and a green. So I wonder if we should go for Pokegear or if we should use uh, Cynthia and Catelyn. Because if we don't get another uh, basic Pokemon now, we will lose. Although with the green, we can find a doll. So this is going to be Malamar. Okay, Malamar does have the ability to get energies back. Mm -hmm. So our main win condition is to leave something stuck in the active position so we can... Uh, go with the flow and actually leave that stuck in the active position with custom catchers and then go with the hammers every single turn with research management that's going to be our main win condition uh, the bad news is that crushing hammers on the active will make sure that he can accelerate on the bench so uh, he has two switch cards and probably i had to guess like two skateboard or three depending on the archetype but uh we'll have to count his switches and skateboards because that is going to be our main win condition okay also, uh, Lucario and Mel Metal can be kind of a decent attacker if they, for instance, we discard a Fighting Energy. He cannot get back the Fighting Energy, and that means that our Lucario and Mel Metal is actually quite a decent attacker if we are able to set that one up. Because uh, if we can get the full Metal Wall GX off, they will uh, actually smack 50 less damage to us, thanks to the uh, amazing effect of the full Metal Wall and the resistance. Okay, he uh, has an Absol, that means we have one retreat cost more. I don't know if this archetype is any good against Malamar. Malamar was not one of the most popular decks at the bottom regionals. Two energies in the discard already. Hopefully he's not running Espeon and Deoxys. Otherwise uh, he can swoop our entire board uh, if we already smacks down the Deoxys. We'll see how it goes. Okay. Jirachi in the active position. We have counter gain. That is good. We're going to go for one Acrobike and we find another Acrobike. I think I'm going to go for a Lucario Malmel. Because I do think it has to be in the hand here, that recycle energy, otherwise we discard it immediately. Actually it states, if this card gets discarded from play, okay, it has to be in play first. So uh, it was not in play just yet, we're gonna get that recycle energy onto Meowth, which is fantastic to start off with to draw some cards. We're gonna go for Pokegear, finding out Steven's resolve, oh no, it is a Cynthia. Cynthia is not bad either way. Uh, yeah. Counter gain is definitely necessary on our Lucario Mel Metal. Do those two hammers are actually not too shabby? What is our main plan of action? We need actually I'm gonna smack down Cynthia so we can get a Green's uh, exploration because we definitely need to get our stuff rolling. We have a Lily's Pokedoll. Gonna smack that down immediately, and uh, yeah, we're also gonna go for another Acrobike. The Wait and See Hammer. Did he attach any energies? No, he did not. So Wait and See Hammer is kind of useless. We're gonna go for a Will. Will in combination with the. Crushing hammers that we draw from maybe uh, green or maybe the scatter day will be fantastic. So, da -da 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 -da, we have oh, Steven's resolve that is not bad. We even have draw energy that means we can draw a card, just attaching and drawing a card. Okay, we have a Malamar. Malamar, what is he gonna do with that? He definitely wants to set up a Giratina. The good news about Giratina is as soon as we get all the energies from the Giratina, it will be fantastic. So, with Steven's resolve, I'm probably gonna grab myself counter gain. In combination with Tackle to get our Mellow and Lana, combination with the Lucario Melmel, that is a, a nice option. As well as, so we have Counter Gang, Tackle, and we have, already have an energy, so that's fantastic. So, yeah, he just passes the turn. I wonder what he's gonna be able to set up. Probably looking for Espeon and Deoxys, if I had to guess. Alright, we can use Make and Pay to discard a lot of his resources. That is actually uh, not a bad option here. He has. One, two, three, four. We want to discard switching cards. Maybe we can find some. Yeah. I'm gonna go for the make and pay Persian. Do we have another attack here? We have flip a coin of heads. Yeah, we can uh, make sure we can knock out this Jirachi with uh, the will combination. But I'm actually not gonna do that. I am uh, going to go for a retreat, probably. So we can go resource management and get back. Yeah, these are not resources that I want to get back, unfortunately. 
All right, uh, this is a hard deck to play, so I'm just gonna get a draw energy going. We get one card. Oh yeah, this is a green. This is fantastic. This green can get us whatever we please, but I'm actually gonna go for Steven's Resolve. And the Steven's Resolve will get my combination going. I'm actually gonna get a Meowth uh, Tackle. He might have Reset Stamp, but most of these lists will not run Reset Stamp. Falva is also a nice option to get this Escape Board going away. Hmm. So we have the Counter Gain that we also need. So Counter Gain Tackle. Is he able to destroy us? Maybe. Falva is a nice option to get rid of his Switch shenanigans, but that will not be necessary anyhow. I'm gonna get the, this combination up and rolling. And with this, we'll be able to get rid of all the energies on the... On the Giratina that supposedly supposedly is gonna come. If not, we use green and we even get another custom catcher to leave him stuck in the active. Okay. Now he's accumulating a lot of cards in his hand, and out of nowhere, we'll use make him pay to get rid of all his switches. So uh, we're gonna just leave him uh, doing a lot of stuff because he still can get a lot of resources in the hand, which is fantastic. So yeah, we'll have to get rid of all the switch cards in order to be able to win this game and that's going to be fantastic either way We have Oranguru to draw. Okay, Judge. That is a huge Judge. Oh boy I did not even know that Malamore plays Judge, but look at that. Whoo, that is insane. Our Steven Resolve going down the drain We have a will, a draw energy. This is not looking good. Ooh, Communication. Is he gonna get out his Malamore? He actually uh, his Giratina yeah, another Malamar. He's just safely setting up his bench, probably looking for a uh, kind of a snipe mechanic here. And another another acrobatic. So this is another good way. Not a good way we could go about this. How many dings into this carpal? No escape boards, no switches. Alright. He's just gonna pass the turn. This is a very strange way he can go about this. He could have already gotten out his Giratina, but he's actually not doing it. He's playing it safely, but now we still have more things up and rolling, okay? Not gonna get that draw energy. We need, actually, if this guy gets knocked out, we still get a recycle energy back. So we might as well get this draw energy, draw a card, see how we get there. <laughs> a lot of custom catchers. This is insane. We can already go with custom catchers on this Malamar. So he already is going to burn a switch. I think that is not a bad option here. Hmm. Yeah, I think that is definitely not a bad option. Gonna go for the custom catcher. Yeah, we don't have anything in the hand, but we might as well target down this Malamar and we are going to retreat our recycle energy is something we have to keep in the hand oh yeah we have a two retreat cost thanks to this Absol oh well he has to burn a switch either way uh yeah draw two cards here we go Ta -ta -ta -ta. okay here's the tackle we already have the tackle that means Malo and Lana is live as well as Lucario Melmetal the only thing we need is the recycle energy at this point uh, not the recycle energy the counter game yeah just the green will do the trick here. There's four greens, a lot of uh, stuff still left in the deck, like Poke Gears, Acrobikes. Malamar is stuck in the active. No more Stellar wishing for you, unless you burn a switch. And as soon as you burn a switch, that's going to be so huge for us. Because we already have... Okay, burning a switch, fantastic. Going on to the Absol, yeah, that's very strange. Does he want to sacrifice this Absol? Who knows? There's... Ooh, even a Judge Wishel getting back his Judge. Ooh! That is just an insane play. He's going to judge us again, which is fine. Our, our hand was like power plan. Maybe we should have smacked that down, but I want to get rid of his Viridian Forest with the power plan, so that's why I did not do that. Okay, this is good. We have draw energy, Cynthia and Catelyn, and Lieutenant Surge. This is actually not a bad hand because with uh, the Cynthia, yeah, we can get back a lot of resources. We can get back to Cynthia with Cynthia and Catelyn. How cool is that? He gets Great Catcher, which is totally irrelevant in this matchup. We can go for research management after this turn because we're going to attach. Retreat and uh, get back a lot of resources. Okay, he burned one escape board, one switch. Yeah, he's still asleep. Don't know what... <laughs> We're both asleep. That's very hilarious. Okay, what I'm going to do here is going to go for the Cynthia and Catelyn. He's, he only attached one energy on the Absol. Not, not a threat because Absol will not attack either way. I'm going to go for Cynthia and Catelyn. Uh, we're going to get rid of the power plan because that will not do anything in this matchup. We're going to take back the Cynthia and draw three cards. Ta-da! Drawing some cards. We have so many hammers. That's insane. Well, we cannot draw a card because we're stuck. We cannot even retreat because we are asleep. Oh, that makes it very interesting. Can go for the profound knowledge at some point, but for now, I'm good. Yeah, that energy on the Absol is not uh, doing anything. Two Malamars, though. He has the uh, Jirachi and the active. So what we will need, Lutan Surge Green Combo. So we can get Tackle and Counter Gain. 
So out of that Poke Getter, we hopefully get a green. We'll see how this matchup goes, but I don't know if I'm playing this correctly or not, but this is a weird list that runs Judge, so I did not even know that. Malamar with Judge. I already burned one switch though, which is fantastic. If he smacks down a huge uh, attacker with a lot of retreat, we will be able to win this game. Either way, we need to ba get back our custom catchers, so he has to burn another switch on that Malamar. Okay, triple Malamar. He's probably gonna go for Espeon and Deoxys, if I had to guess. And uh, Espeon and Deoxys is kind of a, like an issue because he can smack 200 damage counters around. So we need to, uh, yeah, even if he does that, we need to get our Lucario Melmetal up and roll. Oh, Dust Snore and Trevenant. That is actually also very scary. Mm-hmm. Okay, hopefully he will not be able to get rid of our Poke Gear because we need to actually get this set up to get rid of all the energies on, the SP or on this guy. He has three retreats, so I'm glad of that. So we're gonna go for the Nerd Watch. And hopefully, no Lieutenant Surge and Poke Gear, come on. Yeah, he gets two hammers. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. That that's not what I needed at this point. We have the recycle energy. We're actually gonna promote our little Lily's Poke Doll, so we can uh, get rid of it, and uh, hopefully we will be able to find our green this turn with the Poke Gear. Okay, let's go for it. Poke Gear green. It is Bella Button Bryson man. Blah, blah, blah. Not what I wanted to see here. Can get rid of a lot of resources with that. Yeah. Okay. So many energies, there's already Viridian Forest as well, so bleh, not what I wanted to see at this point. So, Oranguru, number two. We still have time left, so I think we're gonna go for uh, Lieutenant's strategy, gonna go for a will, that means our hammer automatically hits successfully. Yeah, we're gonna say heads, heads please. Ta-da! And uh, yeah, uh, we're gonna get rid of this energy, so he will not be able to do some weird shenanigans. Also, gonna get this recycled energy in play and gonna go for a full on Cynthia. What we will need at this point is our entire setup. We, yeah, we have Tackle, which is fantastic. So Lucario Mel Metal could be the case, although he has great catchers in his list. Also, gonna get rid so he doesn't get an energy. Also, has a La Mello and Lana combo. The more po stuff we have in the hand, the merrier. So, let's get this, these two cards. Deck call shenanigans, Lucario Mel Metal could come in action if we are able to find a green. Unfortunately, it is not happening. So hopefully, come on, crushing hammer. Yeah, that's fantastic. Getting rid of the energies here. He already got rid of two energies. He probably has another switch up and ready, but it's okay. Ta-da! We're gonna go for this Oranguru. Why is that? Because this has the recycle energy. So now resource management. What do we need? Is custom catcher only one though? Uh, what else might be good? Lieutenant Surge strategy and a Cynthia. Yeah, maybe another hammer. Maybe another hammer. Well, I'm actually gonna get those hammers back later with another resource management for now. Lieutenant Surge strategy is something we actually want so we can reuse multiple supporters. Actually, use two in a row. Thing we want is this guy stuck with no energies, right? That's the only thing we want. He can attach right now, but we are gonna resource management some more hammers. Hopefully we can go from there. Energy there, he could go for uh, a Pale Moon GX, but if he discards my energy... Okay, he has another switch, fantastic. That is a second switch. Now we have to get our Lucario Mel Metal combo up and rolling as quickly as possible. So what we need, discarding all the energies on this Dust North Trevenant. Uh, the bad thing is that if he goes for another Night Watch, we are actually gonna be in a huge amount of trouble because he's gonna get rid of two cards in our hand. Ooh, we can get donked at this point because of this combo. Okay, I actually should have smacked down Lucario Mel Metal earlier. Because 150 reduction of 20 damage means... Yeah, he still gets the 2 hit KO though. Yeah, he gets Giratina. I wonder if we're gonna be able to win this because this is looking grim. Thanks to his insane combo of the Night Watch. Night Watch is very scary against this deck. Come on, get rid of Balaban, Bryce Man, Inet Porter, any of those cards. Maybe Mellow and Lana's good either way. Okay, these are, these are good. Just what I wanted. Now we can smack down Lucario Mel Metal. The only thing we need is a green. Come on, man. Balaban, Bryce Man, again. So, we're gonna smack this little guy down. We're gonna go for this scenario.
Yeah, Lucario and Mel Metal. Let's get this up and rolling. We have a Mellow and Long to switch around. So at this point, he's already stuck in the active. We might as well go for a custom catcher for one. We have a tackle, that's fantastic. We're gonna use it for nothing. Oh boy, that was not not too clever. Not too clever indeed. Bellabon Bryson man. Discarding some more cards. Might be a nice way we can go about this. He only has so many cards in the hand. The only thing we will need is an other energy. Ooh. Or counter game. Don't want to use Bellabon Bryce Man to get rid of Poke Gears and Greens. We definitely need to draw a green at this point. Come on, resource management. Let's get our stuff that we want. Poke Gear. Since young Callan, he, he might use Judge at this point, but I don't think so. So might as well get a hammer back. Yeah, we don't need Cynthia and Catelyn, we need definitely a green. Definitely a green at this point. Let's get these back. Ta -ta -ta. And now the only thing we need is a counter gain. Just a green, a poke gear, whatever. He could go, go for a, a great catcher. He does not know what we have in the hand, so that is also making ourselves our life a little bit easier. He could go actually go for the uh, Pale Moon GX if he has great catcher. But otherwise we would have been donked anyway. Okay, nice watch, getting rid of our entire hand. Alright, maybe he has another switch, but we need to top deck something insanely now. Come on, let it be a green. Ta-ta! <laughs> yeah, yeah, just what we talked about. Okay, what I want is... At this point, I'm fine getting counter game and choice helmet. So he will not be able to do anything. He might have another switch in hand. Why? No, Choice Helmet will not work in this scenario. Okay. Faba. What can we can get with Faba? Nothing at all. Cynthia. So we have a fresh hand for next time. I think that is fine. Maybe a stamp. Yeah, so we can establish our board right now. Although Cynthia would probably be better. Yeah, let's get these two cards. Hopefully we will be able to do anything. Here goes the full metal wall GX. Bam. We get rid of all the energies. Hopefully he does not have another switch. He already burned two switches. Probably Malamar does not run three switches. Let's hope. He has those weird tech cards in his list like Judge and all that. So maybe he has it. Maybe we should have gone for it to reach that stamp. But I think this is the, the nicest play we could have done here. Mellow and Lana, okay, he has another switch card. He has another switch card, that is just insane. Has three Malamar set up, so wow! We just got played, should have gone with the reset stamp so we could have built up our hand, but no. Did not do that. Okay, he can go for the Pale Moon GX now. He get ri gets rid of our energy and uh, that will actually be so insane. We need to find our own Mellow and Lana on a doll. <laughs> will that be... Uh, worth it we still have one custom catcher so we can maybe draw with one custom catcher but this is actually well played from the opponent so the thing that this list does is get rid of the, all the energies but with mellow and lanas and the switches we just got outplayed and definitely with the judges it's insane okay what now he gets pale moon gx going yeah pale moon gx that's fantastic that means we get back our Cynthia. so so in this scenario uh, yeah, we need Mellow and Lana, but there's nothing we can do about it. I'm actually gonna go for Custom Catch for one. Uh, what do we have? We have the Tackle, so we have Mellow and Lana that we can get out. But we don't have an extra Pokemon, unfortunately. Can smack for 50 damage, which is irrelevant, but if he gets knocked out, we can get our Recycle Energy back either way. Uh, Tackle, what do we want? Cha -cha. Yeah, we have Balaban Bryce Man and this guard. Not that we need it, but I'm actually don't want to draw into tackle. We don't want to draw into a basic Pokemon at this point, or maybe some hammers, because our uh, tag team will be build, will be going into discard very shortly. Okay, we have a Pokemon. We cannot retreat thanks to the Absol. It's insane. We have more Poke Gears though. Uh, this is so insane. We need so much stuff at this point. Steel Fist. 
50 damage and uh, we actually will get knocked out thanks to the pill no not, he did not use uh yeah he did use pill moon so we got knocked out and yeah uh, he's actually gonna win this game so that is well played so this deck is insane against Malamar with Malo and Lana. So I did not expect he would be playing Malo and Lana, only two switches. So uh, he can get the upper hand, but definitely check out this list. So difficult to play, but, but it's an uh, energy denial deck. You'll definitely love it if you can get the full combo going, full metal wall, and then uh, stack your crushing hammers thanks to Oranguru using research management. Let me know what you think about Sandra Wojcik's deck. Uh, in my opinion, this was a... Uh, Kind of a nice showcasing, if he did not have that Mallow and Lana, we actually would have gotten the upper hand because we could have discarded all the energies. But with uh, that many switch cards in this deck uh, and the acceleration of Malamar, we did not get the upper hand. But anyhow, let me know what you think about this list. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to mouse the like button, subscribe for more content. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.